Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over RadarOnline.com, and this is exclusive details. Uh, John Bonet Shocker, chief investigator in Beauty Queen's murder, removed from Pro for misconduct. I will list the article right here in the description, as I always do. And it says two top commanders involved in the John Bonet Ramsey murder investigation were removed from the case after an initial audit shockingly found both the police department officers were slacking off instead of catching criminals. Radar Online can reveal the stunning announcement sent shockwaves throughout the hearts of the John Bonet family and the online sleuth community who for years complained that the border police were not doing enough to solve the murder of the six-year-old found in the basement of her family's home during Christmas of 1996. To me, this is an, an opportunity to reset John Bonet's half-brother, John Andrew Ramsey, exclusively told RadarOnline.com. This is what we've been asking and looking for. Investigators that haven't been around for 26 years don't have the their egos tied up in the case. Let's get some smart people that want to do the right thing and go forward. Commander Thomas uh, Tugillo, the head of the investigators unit in charge of the boat John Bonet probe, was transferred to another division and given a three day suspension without pay, according to a Boulder press release announcing the disciplinary charges. Another longtime John Bonnet investigator, CMDR, Barry uh, Hart Cop, was slapped with a one-year letter of reprimand and is receiving additional training. CMDR Tom Trujillo has been transferred from investigations to patrol and is no longer involved in the investigations, including the Ramsey case. Boulder's Director of Communications and Engagement, Sarah Huntley, told RadarOnline.com, both commander had oversight responsibilities for the detectives who failed to follow up on some of the cases assigned to him. The misconduct was undercover when Police Chief Maris Harold ordered a department review of its, cases man its case management system. They discovered detectives were not investigating or only partially probing cases. Um, wow. Since uh, 2019, the two sergeants and a police officer were also snagged in this uh, dragnet. Two received suspensions without pay and another retired by resignation. Our department understands the tremendous responsibility it has to investigate reported crimes diligently and in a timely manner. This is a sacred trust our community has placed in us, Harold said. We take the responsibility seriously. Huntley revealed that this outlet, this misconduct is completely unrelated to the John Bonnet Ramsey case. Both John Andrew Ramsey told, but excuse me, but John Andrew Ramsey told RadarOnline.com that he believes the misconduct may have had a detrimental impact on the case because the investigators' unit was not doing its job. In October, John Bonet's father, John Ramsey, age 78, wrote a letter to the Chicago Governor Jared Polis. Polis asked him to step in and have the Boulder police release the DNA evidence to the outside lab that compares the evidence with a much larger population usually used by commercial genealogy sites. But the request to meet with the governor was ignored. There is a lot of information that has come forward since 2019. They, the police, couldn't have gotten the phone call and they didn't follow up on it. He told us the DNA testing that we've been begging for, a lot of this occurred in 2019. We all know the mistakes that were made in 1996, but now we hear today that more mistakes were made in the current times. 
and that is the end of the article right there as it stands um wow i mean true enough uh the family of uh john bonetti have been you know begging asking pleading talking to anyone that would you know get their message out that they wanted you know fresh eyes on the case um you know everybody is aware of John Bonnie Ramsey and what happened um who she was her life um the accusations that were being thrown around at you know the family members themselves and you know as it now stands the very refusal to do their job that they were sworn to do so I I mean it's not really a shocker a lot of people felt like they were dragging their feet on this case and the many other cases um you know things that could be solved I mean why wouldn't you release the DNA evidence um his the brother and the father called for that so much to have it given to an outside company so that they can be compared and ran through a larger database and they basically just stonewalled these people um for what reason i have no idea however now that they have gotten those individuals out of the investigation hopefully her case and many others will be nearing its conclusion very soon uh, i think a lot of people would want that i think a lot of people would want that closure uh given you know given the story and who she was she was so young uh promising life uh, just taken you know so um let me know what you want what you think down in the comments uh don't forget to like subscribe and share definitely hit me up in the comments so we can chop it up and talk about this story or any other story that i do on my channel i do appreciate you coming to watch this video it really means a lot and I will get with you guys in the next video.